YouTube, Poison Dot Pro Hobbyist. This is Bradley, and I'm here with another video for you guys. So today, I'll be talking about how I make fruit flies now, opposed to how I make them in the past. So, making fruit flies in the past was, like, compared to now, pretty annoying because there was this thing like, oh, you have to uh, boil the water, then uh, put it in the media, stir, excelsior, flies, and that's it. So, um, like at this point, like I'm not boiling water anymore. I don't even know like, what the purpose of that is. But to me, I don't see any difference. Still get like a super booming culture of flies like, without boiling, boiling the water. And I always hated Excelsior for the simple fact it gets in your vivarium. Like I hate to see that stuff on the low amount of variants. I hate it. So, um, I think it was the great Jeremy Huff. I'm not too sure if he's in the hobby anymore. But, um, he was using the, like, uh, painter's paper. Like, this is, like, I guess you put this on the floor when you're painting or you're doing any home improvement stuff. So that your floors won't get messed up. So he introduced me to this stuff. This is actually like thinner than the original stuff that I had. The other stuff I had, I like better because it was thick. It's pink. It comes in like a maybe like a five foot roll. It will last you like for years. I just ran out. But this stuff is like it's kind of flimsy. It's like cheap wrapping paper. But uh, go out, go to Home Depot. And it's in like the painting section and you put this stuff on the floor so your floor doesn't get messed up. Painter's paper or something like that. So like I'm going to get into it now. So my uh, media mix is a combination of Tank Man Herbs as well as Josh's Frog's media. Like I put them together. I'm not trying to throw shade, but the Tank Man Herbs media, um, it didn't work for me. Like everybody has or what's your name, it doesn't work for me. It just is my boy. So like it, it didn't work by itself. So I'm like, let me just mix them together. So I mix them together and they work amazingly. The cultures boom more. Like uh mixing them together opposed to just using Josh's by itself. The thing is with Tank Man, he told me, he's like, oh, he, uh, he's like, are you boiling, boiling the media? And I'm like, no. Like, I stopped doing that. Like, I just, I don't know. I don't see any benefit. So, um, I'm just like, oh, like, I like to experiment like that. Like, even though, like, I mean, this is kind of like an arts and craft as well as a scientific hobby so like I love to experiment to see what happens so I'm like um let me mix them up and see what happens so I mix them up I also put his cratinoid uh powder in here as well so like if you ever seen my my uh my bandit loop it's like orange it's not yellow my cousin, he came over. He's like, oh. I'm like, he's like, what color is the frog? I'm like, it's orange. I mean, it's yellow. He's like, nah, bro, that, that's orange. So I was like, enough for story time. Let me get into this. So first, there's no boiling water going on here. I have some water. I have water. Like, I used to have, like, the Pyrex, uh, Mixing container, I mean, like a uh, measuring cup. I don't use that anymore. Like, I try not to pour like a lot of this stuff in there because once it's a lot, 
it, it just goes to waste, to be honest. You just have like a lot of like trash in there and it's not worth it. So, but, so I do about that much. Like I don't need to put like a super crazy amount into a Make sure the water, the water is is good. A little mixy mix. And I like to stir up everything. Like I don't like the the stuff at the bottom. Sorry, I'm trying to get this to focus here. I don't I don't want to see any dry powder at the bottom of my cups. So put the water. Like I'm just using this uh, Poland Spring, but. I normally use good old New York tap and I'm good. And I'm telling you, my melanogic acids, my mellows, boom. I haven't used Hydea. And I don't know, maybe the formula I brought was for Hydea, but that again, like you might see like uh two different types of fruit fly media. You might have some for Mellows and you might have some for high eye, but I kind of think like they both do the same thing. I, I don't see any difference. I have in the past brought both and did the same thing. Mix. Same thing. Same thing. Alright, I'm getting there. Like I I don't I don't like my my media clunky. Uh, I got a few more little draw spaces if you can see where the mist came. I put it flat. But like that, I could I could let that slide. I don't really have to um keep going with the water. So let's see how many ounces of water. This is this is an eight ounce um cup of water bottle. That's about good. It's pretty consistent. I don't even have to stir this much. Let me stop stirring. And if, if in the event that I use like too much um, media, I just like throw the stuff into the tanks and let the let the bioactive guys clean it up. So you take a little bit of this stuff and you just make a ball so you guys can tell uh, you're not climbing all over one another. That's what you don't want. There are those fans again. Every time I make a video, the fans come on. Like, why? Why, why do the fans have to come on? Got that going. Yeah, just about done here. I don't want to waste it. So, get rid of that. Down we go. So, what I like to do is make sure that make sure that the uh, the painter's pa paper is stuck into the media. What goes up is not coming down. So that way it's not moving all around when you move the culture. I don't know what happened to my last culture, but like I feel like it might have gotten dry, so I had to run myself to pet co. Pet co, yeah. I had to run to pet co, pick up a culture. This these are like ten dollars, they come up to ten eighty one. New York City sales tax. 8% tap down, get all the flies off the top. If you don't want to, if you don't tap down, flies are just going to start popping out everywhere. So you tap down, and you do some pouring, you do some tapping, and you're good. Do is you 
some more tapping down, you put the lid on. See? Like, this is why. This is why. Let me explain. Hold on. Make sure your top is on nice and tight. So, this is why, like, I hate this Excelsior stuff. Uh, I got to get up. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, yeah. Like, I hate this stuff. You guys don't know. Like, um... Like it got into my into my culture. I don't like it. I don't like it. So yeah, you do all that tapping down and then you're good. So there you have how I make my fruit fly coaches. I do no more boiling water. I don't use Excelsior. The process is much faster, much easier. So like you shouldn't be lazy and wait for your coach to die, but you don't have to. Water and all that other stuff. So that's it with me. I make um, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have eight frogs, so I just make two coaches, just about every two weeks. And that's it. Like some people are making like 20, 30 coaches a week. I'm like, wow. But um, yeah. So that's about it. Until next time, like, don't dislike, comment, subscribe, enjoy your frogs. Thank you.